Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny Love with Jenny Love Journals. And today, guys, we are going to do a project to go inside of our Timeless Treasures journal that we're working on. Or if you are following along but not using the Timeless Treasures kit, then of course all the rules still apply. It will just obviously look different, but nevertheless, it's gonna come out gorgeous if you follow along. So today, guys, we are going to make one of my favorite projects. And I, I do not claim to have made up this project. I have seen it done many, many times by many different um, crafters and YouTubers. But I like to call it, and a bunch of other people as well like to call it a gate. So we're going to make a gate <laughs> to go inside of our journal. So let me show you guys what you're going to need. Today I am just using a piece of paper from the Timeless Treasures kit. Um, and this is double-sided. I do have a background um, printed on one side and then of course the main on the other side. It really does not matter what you have on it and what location it, you know, your favorite things are on the paper. It doesn't matter because of the way that we're going to be folding it up. Um, I guess the only way it would matter is if you have some really nice things on the edges. Um, but either way, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's, it's going to turn out gorgeous. So you need one of those. And what I did here is I cut out three strips here from the, one of the background sheets that came with the kit. And these strips are uh, five and a quarter inches long by two inches wide. So five and a quarter and two inches. And I have three of those and you'll see in a minute why we need these. These are actually going to be pockets. And of course I have some um, some cards from the kit um, that are going to go in our pockets. You can use the cards from the Timeless Treasures kit if you're using it, or you can use ephemera cards from the kit that you are using. If you're not using a kit, of course, you can always make your own adorable ephemera cards. I know that you all know how to do that. So we have some embellishments over here. Who remembers this that we made in one of our last videos using stamps to make ephemera? And I have like a butterfly here. I have a die cut flower and a little ticket stub and a sentiment. These are just some of the embellishments or actually pretty much most of the embellishments that we're going to be using in this project. And then of course you're going to need your essentials, your glue. I always use art glitter glue, um, your bone folder and your distress ink, um, your scissors, obviously, if you need to cut out your pockets. Go ahead and do that which i showed you that i already did that before off camera so that it would save time and this video wouldn't be 10,000 hours long <laughs> and i also went ahead and i took my uh, half inch circle punch here and i punched out two circles from pages that are in the kit and i have here a whole bunch of um pre-cut circles already um that are made out of cardstock or cut out of cardstock to back these when I need them so that they're nice and durable. So I have these and you'll see in a minute what we're gonna be using these for. And finally, we have some string here. You can use some, um, some regular string, embroidery string, thick thread. Um, you can use thin ribbon as long as it's not too thick because it's gonna be going in your journal and you don't want it to bulk it up too much to where you're gonna have a hard time closing it because we're gonna be putting lots more in it anyways, right? All right, guys, so let's get started, shall we? So you're going to start with your piece of paper. This piece of paper, particular, this particular piece, bleh, can't talk, is 10 and a half inches long and about 8 inches wide. So 10 and a half inches, 8 inches, all right? Again, it doesn't matter what, what kit you use, what paper you use. You can use a book page if you want. You can use a magazine page. Um, you can use you know, uh, paper, um, from paper pads, scrapbook paper, anything. It doesn't matter. And the size really doesn't matter as long as it's not too large, because of course, in the end, you want to make sure that it's going to fit nicely into your journal. So this particular paper is around the same size as my signature. So I'm going to have to cut this down just a little bit so that it does have, um, some, you know, leeway on both ends and it's not going from top to bottom if you understand what I'm saying. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm literally just going to take a tiny bit 
off of both ends. Again, this is up to you. You just wanna make sure in the end that it will fit nicely in your journal and it's not gonna be too big. Okay, and that, that should do it. So now, now that I did that, my paper is uh, seven and a half tall and uh, 10 and a half. So 10 and a half, seven and a half now. All right, that's what we're doing. All right, so what we're gonna do, guys, this is double-sided, which is good because we're gonna want um, some design on the inside so it's not stark white. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paper and we're gonna fold it in half and you wanna make sure that um, the outside is what you want it to be, so make sure you fold it the correct way. All right, let's burnish, okay? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, open it up, all right, and we're gonna you can see the crease line here. I know it's a little bit hard, but we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold it to literally right after the crease line, not before, not on, but right after, like I'm talking maybe a centimeter, centimeter and a half after it or beyond it, I should say. <laughs> we're gonna turn our paper around, take the other side and do the same thing right along this crease here, but instead of folding in front of it or on it, we're gonna fold right directly after it. Okay, and give that a nice crease. So now you should be able to close it like this. So now it opens like a gate. Okay, that's, that's the only way I describe it. Like, it's like a gate, I don't know. <laughs> All right, what I wanna do now is I wanna round my corners, because you guys know me, I, I love rounding my corners. It makes it look more clean and just, I don't know. I just love the way it looks. And I'm gonna go and do that to all, all four corners here. Ooh, that one didn't go all the way down in there. There we go. All right, there we go, so much better. Like I said, I just, I love rounded corners. All right, we're gonna open this up here. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we are going to put, that's where these little babies come in, come in here that we, we cut these out with our half inch circle punch. If you do not have a circle punch, you can grab a small object that is a circle and just trace around it and cut it out with your scissors. The same thing for your cardstock. It doesn't have to be cardstock. It can be any kind of paper as long as it, um, can back this so that it's nice and durable and not so flimsy. So I'm gonna put some glue on one of these. Okay, not a whole lot because you don't want it seeping out when you go to put it, put it on there. All right, and you can even double up on these if you want to to make sure that it's extra durable. You know what, I think I'm actually going to do that just, just to make absolute sure that it's not gonna go anywhere. Or not so much go anywhere, but it's not gonna tear or become damaged when we go to twine our string around it, which you will see, oops, see in a minute. All right, let's do the other one. All right, so we have those ready. So now what we're gonna do, guys, is grab your awl. Um, if you don't have an awl, you can use pretty much anything pointy. <laughs> to go ahead and poke your holes. So what we're gonna do is we're going, you can either go across this way or you can go diagonal this way, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take this, this is actually an old stamp and I literally use this for poking holes. All right, so I'm gonna go, and it doesn't have to be you know, perfectly measured, you can just eyeball it, but make sure that it's at least, I would say about a half an inch to, a, to an inch over and that it's not too close to the edge. All right, and I'm gonna go up here towards the top just a little bit and poke. And then I'm gonna open this side, do the same thing down here, about a half an inch to an inch in, maybe about there, poke. Okay, that is my, that is my dog, I do apologize. All right, I'm gonna take these little circles that we had um, cut out and reinforced and poke holes right in the center of those. Make sure that you get it right in the center. I don't know if you guys can, if you guys can see it here, but 
trying not to get my head under the under the camera. Okay, there's one. And two. And they're still a little wet from the glue on the inside, which is why they bent a little, but it's okay. You can just flatten them back out, just press on them. Okay. Also, one thing that I did fail to mention is that you do need some brads for this if you are doing it this style. Um, for this one, I think I'm just going to go with, actually, it looks like there's some light pink in here. So I think that would be best. I know I've seen them. Where are they? Oh, here's one. And where's the other one? There are other ones. There we go. There's one. Phew. I just um, received these brads, actually, and I haven't used them yet. Um, these ones, obviously, I've used many times, as you can see. But these ones I have not used yet, so we'll see how good they work here in a minute. If I can get them all picked up, because they keep running away from me. <laughs> all right. All right, now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and attach these. Oops. Everything's just getting away from me today. Attach these onto here with our brads so that we can tie our string around it. And that's how we're going to be closing um, our gate when we go to close it up. All right, so don't open that yet. Not yet, Jenny. Not yet. You're getting a little excited. All right, so put your brad through that and then through that like that. Go ahead and open it in the back there. Same with this one. Put it through the hole. And open it up. Okay, how adorable. Now this is where you get your string. Like I said, you can use um, embroidery string. You can use um, some, th some thin ribbon. I mean, you don't want it too thick, like I said. So we're just gonna tie this around here. Make sure you double knot because you wanna make sure it's gonna stay on there and not come loose. All right, clip off your, your little tail. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come around and twine it around this one. One, two, three, four. Four times. And then let's go ahead and clip that. All right. And that is our closure. You don't want to do it. There we go. I'm going to loosen it up just a little bit so it doesn't bow. But that is um, our closure, and that's how we're going to close it. So when you want to open it, you just go like this and then open it. Now we're going to put our pockets in, guys, and that's where these strips come in handy. So like I said, make sure that you cut these strips out. Um, I want to go ahead and ink these before I put them in. And I'll show you in a minute how we're going to do that. This project is absolutely adorable. You know, I think, I think I originally, if I remember correctly, um, I think I originally learned this project from Victoria Designs. She did a gate similar to something like this in one of the butterfly folio projects that she was doing. Um, and I fell in love with it and I ended up making a whole bunch and then I was getting like orders for them and stuff. And oh, it was so fun. As you can see, my ink kind of got away from me a little bit on this one. I don't know, but my ink pad is still very juicy from being refilled about two weeks ago. So these, as you can see, have to be trimmed because they are a little too wide and I must have measured a little wrong, but it's fine because not much has to come off. So we're just going to go ahead and put all three of them together and put them in the trimmer and problem solved. All right, but let's re-ink these edges here. Okay, so now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to put these in, but they're going to overlap each other, okay? And I want to make sure that these are still not too big and that this gate is going to close with, okay, good, yes, 
perfect. They're actually perfect. It actually meets perfectly from one side to the other. So you want them to um, layer one another. So you're actually going to start at the top and you're going to put your first pocket at the top. So we're going to start like right here and we're going to glue the sides and the bottom so that of course we have the top open for our pocket. So let's, let's get these put down. And I hope y'all are having an amazing weekend so far. This video should be coming out on Sunday, so hopefully you had an amazing weekend. Um, if you guys remember on the video that I put out on Friday, some of you might remember me saying that my weekend plans are to investigate a haunted antique store, as most of you know that is what my other YouTube channel is. And I, it's it's still the same day like I'm still film I'm filming this video the same day as the video that you've seen on Friday so I still have yet to investigate <laughs> the antique store that is still to take place on Saturday and uh, so obviously my videos that come out next week I'll be able to tell you guys how it went and for those of you who want to see how it went you can go ahead and subscribe to my other channel Jenny Love TV and the link to that is actually in the description and you'll be able to watch that investigation um, on video because we will be filming it. All right, so there's two pockets and now we're gonna glue in the other, the last pocket, the third and last pocket. And again, we're just putting glue on the sides and the bottom and leaving the top open and I chose to put this specific one on the bottom because I really like the clock and the flowers and you can see this one more than these two, obviously. You can still see the majority of these two, but you can see the whole panel of this one. And I thought it was pretty. So we have a pocket here, we have a pocket here, and we have a pocket here. All right, so I want to do some embellishing here. Okay, so we do have we do have these, like I said, these, this is one of the projects that we made um, when we did, made ephemera out of stamps. And I might not be able to use this one because, oh, actually, you know what? That actually looks kind of cute right there. I was gonna glue it at the top thinking that it could, you know, it would be wide enough up there, but it's not, but it does look cute like that because it looks like it's down in the pocket, but it's actually glued down and you can still utilize the pockets. So. Let's go ahead and put that there. And as you guys know, we made these uh, stamp ephemeras, or ephemera, <laughs> um, specifically for this journal project. So for those of you who didn't get to see that video, that is still on my channel. Um, head on over and check that out. And that is where we make a whole bunch of super cute ephemera out of our stamps, literally, because we never use our rubber stamps anymore and our ink pads and things like that. They just sit around for the majority of us. Some of us use them, but a lot of us don't. And so we made some really nice ephemera using, using our stamps. All right, that is cute. That is cute. All right, I also have this ticket stub here. Let's go ahead and ink it up. And I think I'm gonna put this one um, I think I'm going to put it down here, actually. I think I'm going to do that. And of course, this is just to embellish, to give it a little bit more flair. Move it up a little bit just in case I'm out of frame. Glue that down. And then, of course, we have our sentiment that I wanted to pair it with. So maybe I was thinking like on an angle like that maybe, or like right there. You know what? I love that angle right there. What do you guys think? That's pretty. We'll do that. We'll go ahead and do that. Just like that. How adorable. So cute. All right. Let's see. We got this flower here and I also have a butterfly but I'm thinking I want to put this butterfly right here because there's not a whole lot going on um, like in this space it's just like kind of white right there so we'll put the butterfly there
so, so pretty. And then this, I was thinking we can do something like this, something like that, or maybe, oh, I like that. Maybe we should do, yeah, let's do that. That's pretty. Oh, I love it. And then of course we have our ephemera here that we can put in the pockets. Yes, there's three pockets. I have two pieces of ephemera, but you know, sometimes when I am doing journal projects and I have like several pockets in the project, I don't always feel the need to fill up every pocket because whoever ends up with the journal, you know, whether I make it as a gift for a friend or a family member or I sell it, which I often do, um, you know, that person will still have space um, to put their stuff, you know in the pockets so how cute and then of course this one this top one is also a pocket and then we can close our gate you can overlap this like that or this like that you know what i want to do first though is i want to ink the entire thing so let me go ahead and do that before we call it done here i'm going to go ahead and open it up all the way All right, you know what? Another thing I realized is we should have inked around these things to make them stand out a little more, but you know what? It's okay. I think the pink brads make it look really pretty. So yes, here is our gate. Guys, again, there's three pockets decorated very nicely. Also, another thing you guys can do is to cover up these brads, you can make two more of these, but of course don't put brads in them, just leave them as regular circles and then glue them over the tops of these to hide them. Or you can put like some stickers over these or just little pieces of ephemera you can glue over the top of these um, brad legs to hide them. I mean, it doesn't really bother me to be honest with you, but if it does bother you, you can cover them up. So super cute. Or also another thing you can do is you can make panels the size of this and then glue them over this whole thing. So you can't see anything at all except for this design, but in separate panels that you've glued on. All right, so let's close this baby up. All right, and let's put this in our journal. So I'm going for the second signature today, guys. If you're following along with the same kit, then you'll know exactly where I'm about to show you where I'm going to put this. Um, if you're using, again, another kit or scrapbook paper, book pages, whatever it is that you're using, um, just find an empty uh, spot in your signature to glue it down. It's totally up to you, but I'm gonna go ahead and put mine here on this avocado stained page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue all over the back of this and I'm gonna go ahead and glue it down onto my journal page and you guys can see why I trimmed the top and the bottom. <laughs> and it's a good thing I did, I'll tell you what. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. All right, guys, let's glue this down and make sure it's centered. You want just as much space on the top as you do on the bottom. There we go. Make sure you press it down really good. We're gonna go ahead and untie this again really quick to just kind of get in there and press it all down. All right, so adorable. I absolutely love this. Like I said, this is one of my favorite projects. Um, I've done this technique on and several different things that I've done and it's always like a go-to for me. So yeah, I, I have always really enjoyed this project. All right, let's tie this back up. And there we have it, our gate inside of our second signature. All done and looking beautiful.
All right, guys. Well, that is our project for today. Thank you so much for following along with me or for even watching my video. I appreciate you either way. And again, as always, if you liked this video, please don't forget to give this video a great big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I upload one to two videos every single week. And right now, obviously, we are working on this journal together. So yeah, come follow along if you're not already. I'd love to have you. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Take care, everybody.